वेलकम टू क्रिकेट कोच ऑनलाइन लेट मी टॉक टू यू ऑन द सिलेक्शन ट्रायल्स नाउ वन डे बिफोर द सिलेक्शन ट्रायल्स आई जस्ट ट्राई एंड शेयर विद यू लॉट ऑफ पीपल स्टार्ट गेटिंग नर्वस हाउ इट वुड हैपन फॉर द नेक्स्ट डे नाउ एस्पेशली इन टर्म्स ऑफ द सिलेक्शन ट्रायल्स विच इज गोइंग टू हैपन द नेक्स्ट डे वन डे प्रीवियस आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट वन डे प्रीवियस हाउ द माइंड सेट हैज टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन यू आर ऑन द फील्ड और वेन यू एक्चुअली गॉन दे टू रिलैक्स please do not pressurize yourself and start playing for the whole day and get tired very important lot of people feel one day previously i will try and do maximum and get exhausted because you need to perform the next day and that day performance which you are trying to do the next day is your one year practice session what you have done so it's very important one day before that relax don't feel nervous be confident probably at one day before night you might be dreaming imagining what has to happen be cool probably you can read some motivational stories or probably some audio songs all is fine be cool sleep properly next day morning very importantly one tip i would like to share be there half an hour early at least 30 minutes early you need to have a feel of the ground if you are practicing there or from some other ground also you need to have a feel of that and secondly the selection committee would always be observing who comes in time what is their mindset because they have already have an experience in this industry so it's very important for us to understand that if you are half an hour early in the ground what all to be done first and the foremost relax yourself be confident and start doing few run ups exercises warm up session is to be important because you are doing the final session in front of the selectors so in this video i'll be talking about the bowling selection in the next video i'll be trying to cover about the batting selection now bowling selections imagine ima- when a selector would call up the names who is going to be the pace bowler or the spinner depending on if you are a bowler and if you are a pace bowler or a medium pace bowler you can go ahead take the new ball and start up bowling very very important tip which i want to share here is the selectors would observe that you would not bowl wides and no balls because that's the key if you are trying to bowl extras like wide and no ball then they will say you do not have a line and length and you have not practiced bowling for quite some time that is the first indicator second indicator very importantly which the selector also is going to observe is are you bowling on the stumps and are there variations don't prejudge anyone saying okay if you are as a bowler you have given the name but because it's the next list you are still waiting for the other people to bowl at that time what happens don't prejudge someone saying okay this bowler is doing really good whether i will be competing with him or no don't think on that because every bowler has their own mindset the styles are different the rhythm is different the turn is different the pace is different lot of things would change so it's very important for us to understand how or what good skills you have got which you can perform so if you are looking at only that the other guy is to having a very good pace i might not have the pace don't worry about it you might have a better skill of moving the ball very important secondly also ensure your line and length is maintained because that's the key you have to make the batsman play if you do not make the batsman play if it is little outside the off stick which the batsman leaves and plays it's very uh, common that you will not get into a wicket and if the wickets you do not get into then the selectors would also feel that you're just making him play if you're maintaining line and length as a batter he would start feeling frustrated because he has to score and show show that he can also score good runs and in that he tries to commit a mistake and you can get into wickets so it's very important as a bowler whether it's a spinner or a pace bowler very importantly no extras no wides no no balls or no uh, footwork even if you are checking out over foot all these have to be avoided okay so this is a basic thing which they'll be observing second imagine you do or you're doing good bowling next they would ensure that how much 
पेशेंस यू हैव एंड हाउ मच रिदम एंड द बोलिंग टेम्परमेंट यू हैव सो वॉट दे माइट आस्क यू टू डू इज कंटिन्यू बोलिंग फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे वुड चेक द स्टेमिना पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट मीन्स दे आर हैप्पी विथ योर बोलिंग नाउ दे वॉन्ट टू नो वेदर यू कैन बोल फॉर लॉन्ग अवर्स बिकॉज इवन इफ इट्स अ नॉर्मल मैच ऑफ फिफ्टी ओवर्स मैच यू वुड हैव टू बोल अराउंड एटलीस्ट टेन ओवर्स प्रॉपरली सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अगेन वन मोर टिप यू नीड टू रिमेंबर is don't full put full strength energy in the first one over take some pause have some gap after every ball go back stay give a chance for other bowlers to bowl then you bowl so that you also have energy stamina to bowl for a longer period of time so that's the key with the same pace rhythm and the turn you continue for a longer period of time the selectors get convinced and say fine i think this bowler has that capacity and we can shortlist him for the next level so this is one of the important and the clear cut tip for you to get selected for the bowler position thank you